Yo. What is up, guys? Starch TV back at it again with another few guys. But before we get this video, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It really mean a lot to me on the road to 100 subs, y'all. Um, thank you for all the, the support on the channel. And also leave some comments down below if you guys are actually enjoying my vids or not. Um, if you guys say that you guys are not enjoying my vids, I won't be hurt by that. Um, but just let me know. I want you guys' honest opinion. Um, but uh, before we get this video, make sure you all subscribe to the channel. Also, leave this video a like, comment down below with things you guys want me to do. You know what's happening on the channel. We're back with another NBA talk, man. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the uh, Toronto. With me, today we're gonna be talking about the Toronto Raptors. Excuse me, they're choked a little bit. Um, so, so we're gonna be talking about the Toronto Raptors today. And there's some big concerns for them throughout the start of the season as they've started out 1-5. Now, we know this team has a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, potential to potentially go to the playoffs again, which we all thought. But uh, right now, they're 14th in the Eastern Conference, and it's not looking good. The only the only more uh, worse team than them... Um, well, actually, no. Well, yeah, they are the 14th seed, I'm pretty sure. But uh, anyways, I mean, they're going to be in the low, like, 13, 14, 15 at most. But uh, but this is something that, you know, I, I, I need to talk about. So basically, I mean, the Raptors have so many assets. They have Pascal. They have Kyle Lowry. Um, they have uh, Daniel Tice. They have Fred Van Fleet. And I just this year something everything is not fitting together. I mean, they're I mean the groove is not going well at all right now. And I was actually looking at the uh, Raptors, the uh, the official Raptors Twitter, and they said we are still trying to find our groove, and that's something that you know I mean they I mean they are trying to find their groove it's not like they're not but like they have to step up the pace now because now you're one in five and you're slowly falling behind and that's something that um Nick Nurse has to take accountable of and the players too because really the only player to me who's actually showing that they could that they actually care about the season so far I I feel like it's I feel like it's only Fred Van Fleet and maybe Lowry, and just I mean from from the games that I have that that I have seen and everything, I feel like Freddie has been a big part this season of everything that they are well doing. Um, well, if you look at the numbers here, Fred Van Fleet's stats are pretty pretty good. He he he, he just put up. Um, yesterday in a loss to the Celtics, he, he put up 35 points, 30 of thir 13 and 20 from the field, six three pointers on nine attempts, which is really good. He had eight rebounds, three assists, and two steals. And he put up 27 against Pels, 25 against the Knicks, which is their only win of the season. And uh, throughout for this regular season, he's he's averaging about 22 points per game. Um, and he has 5.5 uh, rebounds and 5.5 assists and about one and and about 1.5 steals a game. And that's really just <clears throat> I really I feel like I really feel like he's the only guy who is is really trying to, you know, do something for the team. I don't feel like there's just something going on. I mean, maybe maybe a Nick Nurse has to has to um stuff has have to step up the game plan, be more aggressive against teams because your defense is not very good. If you look at look at over here, let me pull it up real quick. Um if we go over here, here it is. Okay, so they have not been been good on defense against the Pelicans, which is their first game of the season. They lost in a 113-99 loss. So that was lost by 14 points. They allowed the Pelicans to get 113 points. In the next game, another loss to the Spurs. They allowed 119 points in that game. 
Then they allowed 100 to a loss against the 76ers, which is not bad. Um, then they won against the Knicks, only allowing 83 points. So that was a really, really, really good defensive game. Um, and then they allowed 120 again to the Pelicans. And then they allowed 126 to, to the Celtics. So that's a lot and a lot of, of um, uh, points that are being combined by this team. Really, just the only thing that really stands out to me is the defense against the Knicks game, which they won 100 to 83, and the one where um, they stopped the 76ers to only 100 points. But yeah, that's that's the uh, main concern for this team. We I don't know what like what is going on. What is wrong with this team? Is that they're not being aggressive enough and they're lacking on defense. That is exactly what's happening. If you can't do those things, you're going to lose games. Um, Kyle Lowry stats real quick, 18 points. Um, he had 18 points against Celtics, which is re which was the recent game, which was yesterday. Um, then it was against the, and then his regular season stats are 18 points per game. He has four rebounds, seven assists, which is not bad for Kyle Lowry, but you, you would expect at least 20 points per game. And then Pascal Siakam is averaging 17, seven and three. And not even a steal. So I mean, I, I don't, I don't know, man. Th th this team's got to step it up. Really, the only solution is to be more aggressive, um, and just do, just, just get more defenders, bro. Like otherwise, you're just gonna keep doing bad and just keep tanking. If you're gonna start, I mean, they've already dug themselves a deep hole. I mean, if you're going to be one in five, I mean, they've already dug themselves a really, really deep hole. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen. I, I I, mean, if they don't turn it around here, if they lose three more games and become one in eight, I've I've lost all hope in this team. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up for the video, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, this is just another talk. I'll be getting some more rants and I And also, you know, plug in some regular um content that we used to do um we i mean we didn't used to do these talks i mean if you go back um about a month ago we we didn't do this i mean i i, I just started these talks like what two two, two three days ago maybe uh but yeah that's where I'm, that's gonna wrap it up for the video hope you all enjoyed stay safe be, be positive happy new year until then touch tv out and also let me know in the comment section b honest give me your honest opinion on how you think my videos are going if you think it's bad just comment down below do not hesitate yeah i won't be hurt um but yeah stay safe be positive happy new year until then there's tv out